Hey, what's up and welcome to Sausage Palooza. Today I'm going to show you how to make traditional Greek sausage two ways. First, the classic orange sausage and then the red wine sausage that also is very, very popular. So to start us off here first, I'm working with five pounds of ground pork. In this ground pork, I've added two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of pepper. Now here's the thing, with the paprika you can use whichever kind you like. You can either use the sweet, smoked or spicy, it really doesn't matter. But that is your basic breakup for the, the ground pork part of this. Now to start us off here, what I'm going to do is make the orange sausage. And for this, what I'm going to add here is one teaspoon of ground cloves is going to go into this. You don't want to go too heavy on this because in this case, less is more. Now, along with our ground clove, I'm going to add the quintessential ingredient to this, which is half a cup of orange zest or orange peel. Typically, grating is too small for this, so if I were you, I would chop it or cut it with a knife or a scissors. So this is going to go into my ground pork. And the next phase is just very simply mixing this or incorporating this evenly. Now, as I mix this and we continue on, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of red wine to this for the moisture. I want to amp up the flavor, but I don't want to overpower it. And if I'm going to do the moisture content, I want to keep it simple. And now the next step of this is to stuff the actual sausages and for that I'm using all natural pork casings or hog casings. They're very common to find in most butchers and you know what? Go natural rather than the synthetic types. Right before I take these to be rolled out in the casings, I'm going to add a little bit of my dad's actually homemade red wine. It adds a certain essence to this but you can use any red wine you like and just mix it in and for this you're probably going to go anywhere from a quarter cup to a half a cup of the wine and the drier the better for this you don't want to get into too much of a sweet wine because it will actually uh, affect the flavor i think i'm going to add a little bit more red wine because the classy makes everything better if you know what i mean all right so now this is pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to take it over for the casings. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how to do the red wine or the crassato locanico. And now for number two of the sausage today is the Greek wine sausage or the crassato. And for this, again, five pounds of ground pork and you can ask your butcher by the way for a sausage cut of pork and he'll know what specific is the best or the best type of pork to use. So along with my salt, pepper and paprika that we put in the original grind of pork, now I'm going to add one teaspoon again of ground clove to this. Clove is something that really will bring the background flavor of the red wine and for five pounds of ground pork you're going to start basically with one cup to a cup and a half of red wine you want that rich dry red wine flavor to permeate through the pork and add that added flavor so very simply begin mixing this up evenly without actually over over mixing this and already I feel the tannins of the wine coming up and that's exactly what we want. And for this I'm also now going to need a little bit more wine so I'm going now to the two cup level for this. When it comes to red wine in food, especially Greek red wine, more is more. Don't listen to any crap they tell you that you know what you don't use a little bit or you use a lot. There's never too much wine in something especially if you're making wine sausage. So I'm going now for my third cup and that's just going to go in there and I'm pretty sure that will do the trick this time. So again, mix, mix, mix. So now we're having all the background flavors combining with the wine 
and we're ready to go to our next step was which is actually filling our sausages And now for the most important part of the sausage making process is actually stuffing the sausage. And today for the first time ever, I have my first actual guest, which is Yaya Canela. Isn't she like the cutest little thing? Now, here's the thing about today. Because this is kind of like you need two hands or four sets of hands for this. What we're going to do is I'm going to stuff. She's going to actually form out the sausages and show you how it's done because Frankly, she's way better at it than I am. So the first part about making sausages and one of the most important next to the actual meat is the casings. And for this, I am using all natural pork casings. I know it doesn't look the most appealing right now, but it is the best for this. And all you do is clean them and soak them from the night before and just add a little sliced lemon in them just like that and it'll take out that gaminess from the flavor and it'll also keep them nice and ready to use. So I've already preloaded my casing onto my machine, onto my sausage nipple here, so that's ready to go. It's just a matter now of turning on the machine, adding the sausage meat or the ground pork and having Yaya Canela actually make the sausages or form the sausages. Let's make it a little loud, so bear with me. All right, so that was the first few sets of links. And as you can see here, it is actually not too bad at all. Look at this. Anybody would be proud of that. Look at this. So we're going to continue on making the rest of this orange sausage. And we're going to continue on with the red wine sausage or the classato and take it from there. So now, right after you finish stuffing your sausages into the casing and rolling them out, you see Yaya Canela there pricking each sausage with a pin. This is critical because it will take the air out and when it comes time for them to cook, they won't actually explode on you. They'll continue in just cooking the way they are in the normal size. So that's it for this episode on how to make Greek sausage at home. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for me to make this with a few of my friends. I thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys try making your own sausage at home. It's a lot of fun and way easier than you may think. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button if you did and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check me out online for this recipe and so many more at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, I will see you on the next one. I thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.